to reference that browser, it will like uh, uh, if it uh, upload properly, then it will uh, say you will find out that page. Mm-hmm. It won't throw the any exception. Okay, uh, refresh is one option, and what what else? Yeah, refresh, dom refresh, or uh, yeah, you can if dynamic export is there, you can move to the radio export. Uh mm-hmm. huh. Okay, and anything else? Uh yeah, one more thing also we can do. But most of the time, what we are doing, we are just refreshing. It's okay. easy to like. Uh, How do you refresh it? Uh, refresh like refresh the web page by using uh navigational commands. Mm-hmm. Driver dot navigate to dot refresh. So it will refresh the web page before like uh, uh, move to the uh, specific move to the other further move further. further. Mm-hmm. So refresh uh, refresh method is there in the navigation interface. Okay. So. So let me tell you about an example, right? Okay, let's say that there is this web, I mean, web form that you are filling in, but yes. that particular application doesn't have a submit button. Okay, so okay. how how does it normally work manually? Is a user has to fill in the form and then uh, enter enter it. I mean, click on okay. the enter key. That's how user was okay. filling manually. But how do you automate it? You don't have a submit button. Yes, so because uh, if that submit submit button is not there, so we can handle this type of keyboard events by using the actions class. Mm. So in that we have to create the action class interface there. So actions A C T is equal to new actions. You have to pass the driver interface there, and then you have to use the A C T dot uh, key down method, and in that you have to give the, give the keys comma enter uh, enter. You have to put the enter uh, word there. And uh, uh, before that, we have to pass that web element where we need to enter that uh, uh, specific uh, key and pressure button. So by using the actions class keyboard events, we can use, handle that uh, specific situation. Okay, without so, using actions, if you have to do. Uh, without using by using the JS executor also, we can do that. Okay, another uh, another way. Another uh, action class. Uh, Action class uh, click double click method we also there but JS executor uh, JS executors methods are there keyboard even methods are there and uh, yeah that's fine so you, in using action methods okay you created mm-hmm. an object for the action yes class and then okay and then what exactly is the method you say you call in order to uh, do the enter part. So we have to first create the object of actions cl- action class. So mm-hmm. actions a c t is equal to new actions. In that uh, in that you have to pass the driver instance there, and uh, you have to use a c t that object whatever we created a c t dot uh, then key down. In mm-hmm. that you have to use keys k e k e y s capital there, and uh, in that comma then enter e n t e r, and then uh, that specific variable. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm, and okay. do you know about Pojo classes? Yes. What are those? You just know. I'm just working on the Pojo classes. Mhm. What are they? Like it's a plain old uh, Java objects are there. In that we are just keeping our uh, JSON file format. Like uh, name, description. Suppose we are just connecting those Pojo class with the GitHub. So whatever the keys we need to mention there has item, has keys. Those we are just keeping in our Pojo classes, and uh, we are just accessing those uh, in our just responsive ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. For example, in your project, the web application which is under test, right? So if it is going under frequent changes. Huh? so how do you mm-hmm. handle such situation because you have automated test cases again there are a lot of changes that are going in the web application so in yes. that case so, like what is your approach so uh, that web element is uh, like uh, moving all the time mm-hmm. or that application is changing yeah application is changing so, So application is changing. So we are our, uh, keeping our application on the GitOps. So me also and my colleagues, whatever how many testers we are, whatever the test cases what we are working, 
we are just keeping our work on the github there so uh, if the application is keep changing we are just keeping there and uh, whatever the suppose whatever the requirements are coming as per that requirements we are just accessing our uh, github files uh, there and we are just changing it and we are just uploading there mm -hmm. and uh, so we are just following the agile agile methodology so we are just used to that so most of the time time client is changing their requirements and uh, It, it, it's like uh, they are just uh, want to add something or delete something, so we are just used to those uh, things. Mm -hmm. So you have to change the scripting every time, huh? Uh, suppose is once what we'll do. So what suppose the requirements is it's coming the requirement. Mm -hmm. So we'll discuss in our team. With our team leader and uh, with the product owner and scrum manager, will be there. In that, we we are just discussing in uh, in our team. So in that, whatever the application we develop, in that, what changes we need to do there. So uh, what initial changes we did, and in that, as per the discussion, if we are concluded that we need to do that specific changes there, so uh, we'll do that. So. Mm. Uh, conveniently, uh, whatever I'm saying. So, uh, as per the, our uh, group discussion will be there. So, if it's asking us to like frequent change will be there. So, we'll do it. So, most of the time it will not happen that uh, frequently changes will come there. So, we'll let a uh, specific uh, uh, requirement. We are just taking it and we are just uh, uh, adding as per the requirements there. If it's happening in some cases there, so as per the our team leaders and uh, discussion. Uh, we are just following the uh, as per the whatever uh, like the discussion will come to the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Uh, have you run Selenium on your Selenium test suite on a different remote server? Uh, remote server, no. With the test engine only we run. Okay. Do you execute uh, test cases in parallel? Can you do that? Yes. So how in do the you do that? We can... Okay. Go yes. Go on. Go on. In the yes, yes, yes. In the test engine, we have to just uh, use the parameter annotation there. In the parameter annotation, we have to just pass the name of the uh, whatever the uh, browser name, uh, browser name, whatever we assign there in the test engine. Uh, in the bit uh, like uh, the parameter annotation, at the right parameter annotation, we have to give there in the SRC main Java there. And those that suppose we give the browser name there, so we have to use the browser name here in the XML file, in the test engine XML file. In that you have to use the parameter annotation. Uh, parameter tag is there. Parameter is na name is equal to that browser name, and value you have to pass that uh, probe edge. So if you want to uh, run that para parallel, uh, like the two or three uh, parameterization, you have to uh, we want to achieve. So we can use three times that parameter uh, tag. So suit tag will be the only one. Test tag will be the only one. In the parameter tag, we have to just do the how many classes we want to uh, execute by the specific browser. And in the next parameter tag, we have to also pass the next value like the edge or Firefox. So in that uh, before we have to pass those condition in the base class. So if the browser name is equal to Chrome, if the browser name is equal to Edge, if the browser name is equal to uh, uh, Firefox. So as per those uh, things that uh, test engine will execute as per the, we can achieve the parallelization. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Uh, did you work on data driven testing? Yes, in the in the UI framework. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, is that BDD framework that you are into, or is it uh, just the test engine framework? Yes. Yeah, in the, the BDD framework also I used. So in that uh, we used in the scenario outline there. Under that, we are using that example script, and as per the that pipe symbol is there, so we are assigning our uh, data there in the scenarios. Mm -hmm. And in the UI automation, if you are asking me, so there we are uh, creating an Excel reader class. We are just keeping our data in that Excel file, and we are just reading those Excel file uh, in the Excel reader class. We are assigning that Excel reader class to our. We are just taking that Excel reader class to. Our. Mm -hmm. Is that Hello. Uh, 